In this problem, we are given data for two functions in table form. Function f of x is the top table, and function g of x is the bottom table. When data are displayed in a horizontal format, the top row is the input row, and the bottom row is the output row. So let's see how that helps us to address the problems below. If I'm asked to determine f of 1, then what I want to do is to look at the input value, which is 1, and I want the output value that goes with that, and that is for the function f. So I'm going to scan my inputs till I come to an input of 1. So here's the ordered pair I'm interested in. It's the output that gives me the result here. So f of 1 equals 2 corresponds to the ordered pair input 1, output 2. g of 9, I'm going to scan my second table, which is my g function, and I'm looking for the ordered pair that has 9 as input, which is right here. My output is 0. So the ordered pair, 9 is input, 0 is output. Part C, f of 0 plus g of 0. So now I'm adding two values, two outputs. The output that goes with an input of 0 in function f. So here's my ordered pair for that part. The output is 3 for f of 0 plus g of 0. There's the ordered pair I'm looking at. The output is 1. 3 plus 1 equals 4. That is my final result. Part D, g of 5. So I'm going to look here. Is my ordered pair. It's the output I'm interested in. g of 5 is 4. Minus, I'm looking in function, f. When the input is 8, the output is 11. So be careful. There's an output of 8 here, but that's not what we want. We want an input of 8. What is the output? The output is 11. And I'm going to subtract that. And 4 minus 11 would be a negative 7. For the last one, then, f of 0 times g of 3 well, we know that f of 0 is 3. We've already worked with that particular result. Times, now, I'm looking in function g for an input of 3. I found it here. The output is 5. 3 times 5 is my result of 15.